Okay, for this video, I'm going to do the Love Life sauce, the first one she made before doing the Snackalicious. And this is her ingredient. It is not mine. She had uh, options of doing this. Either you can use a teaspoon like I'm, I'm doing right now. I'm using the teaspoon because if I do the tablespoon, it's going to be too spicy for me. And uh, I'm not going with spicy food. Okay, so right now I added a, a teaspoon of uh, garlic. That's one of the ingredients. I'm now doing a teaspoon of uh, crushed red peppers. Every ingredient that I am doing here is a teaspoon. The only thing that I'm doing different is that the brown sugar that is going to be added to this is going to be a tablespoon. I kind of like my sauce kind of a uh, sweet. Also, black pepper. When I first did the sauce, I did the tablespoon. It was so good. But for some reason, I can't eat that spicy sauce anymore. So I do a teaspoon of it, of everything. Paprika. Red cayenne pepper. Onion powder. Lemon pepper seasoning. Cajun spice. Chili powder, oregano, Old Bay seasoning. Acid. Excuse me, the acid salt. And brown sugar. I use dark brown sugar. You're gonna add, I add two of these tablespoons. I mean, teaspoons, sorry. I use two teaspoons of brown sugar. Sorry. So that's it for all the seasoning. Now what we're gonna do for the rest of the ingredients, we also need a teaspoon of Tabasco. Worcester sauce. Worcester, well, I don't know how you pronounce this word, but <laughs> the sauce teaspoon of it. Also, you're going to need some vinegar, a teaspoon of it. That's the wet ingredients that you're going to add to it. 
and some uh, sweet cream butter, unsalted. You can use any kind of butter. She did mention that. It doesn't matter if it's salted butter or unsalted butter, but I would recommend the sweet cream butter unsalted because of all the seasonings that you're gonna be adding. It's more than enough of salt that you're gonna add to it. So this is what makes it look, I mean, taste so good. You're also gonna need Also gonna need sweet onion but since I don't have that I'm gonna use purple onion well people call it red or purple but whatever and uh, I'm gonna use all of it it's like a medium onion you can do, do just half of it to it so as you melt the butter you can add the onions to it and also you're also gonna need minced garlic and uh, some ginger. I use this one, I, you can get this in Walmart, the minced garlic, you're just gonna use, well, me personally, I used just a teaspoon. You can use um, a tablespoon if you'd like. Again, if this is on your liking, whatever you wanna add, a little or more to it you can do that and I'm using minced ginger you can get the regular fresh ginger you can just mince it out or you can also get the pickle ginger which is very good I highly recommend the gin the pickle ginger it is so good mixed together with the onions and the butter before adding everything to it these are all the ingredients that you're going to be using. Again, you can use both minced or you can cut your own garlic and cut your own uh, ginger freshly cut or just buy these two, which is technically the same thing. Or you can just get the pickled ginger and just add the minced garlic. Okay, let me just try to get this together and we'll, we'll be back with the results of this. Okay, now we're gonna start doing the sauce. We put the heat on medium high. She did say to put it on low, but on my stove, you know, every stove is different. I have to put it on medium high to start melting the butter. So we're gonna start adding the butter first. Again, you guys can add more butter to it. Again, this is, you're gonna do this the way you like it. Also, you're gonna add, like I said, I was gonna add the whole onion. You cut it in thin slices and just add it. Also, while this is melting, I like adding all the wet ingredients, which is this sauce. I don't know how you pronounce it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, just a teaspoon of it. A teaspoon of Tabasco. teaspoon of vinegar also we're gonna be adding the minced garlic I do that much of the teaspoon so it's not a teaspoon it's technically a little bit more than what it is the minced garlic 
I do that much from the teaspoon. So that was all the wet ingredients to it. We're just gonna wait until the butter starts melting so we can add the dry ingredients. You guys can see that butter melting already. Let me just continue melting this butter and we'll be right back to add the dry ingredients. Okay, now we got the butter almost all melted. I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients. Again, this is how I do it. She does it differently. She starts adding everything. But I feel like it's easy for me to do it this way. I had to turn the camera a little so you guys can see that. See the onion, how it's cooking. You want it like transparent. Yeah, smells so good. I usually use the pickle ginger, but at uh, this time I just used the minced ginger. Same thing, same flavor and everything, but I guess you get, you get more flavor when you have that ginger pickle because if you can see the slices and you can taste it more. You want to be watching your sauce don't move from the stove you know you, you don't want it for it to stick in the bottom because it happened to me once take it from experience <laughs> don't walk away just be observing your sauce while it's cooking That's what you want to see. You want you want to see the onion to be transparent. Still need some cooking. And that's technically all you need to do this butter sauce for your seafood. Technically, you can use this sauce for anything: chicken, fried chicken, seafood eggs the way I eat it a lot of flavor believe me if you try it with boiled eggs this is real good you can practically eat it with anything Again, I just want to repeat myself. This is not my sauce. This is the Love Life sauce. This is her first sauce before she came with the Smackalicious sauce that you can buy at Amazon. You can also try hers, which is a spicy Smackalicious or the mild. But this is the original sauce that she has. And you can find this on her channel. You can find it on Be Love Life's Let's see how good this is.
I'm gonna let it simmer a little bit more and we'll be back with the results when I put it on a bowl so you can see the last results of it. Okay, you guys, I'm done with the sauce. I'm gonna pour it in this bowl, transparent bowl so you guys can see it. If you guys want to add half of a lemon juice into this sauce while you're cooking the whole ingredients together, you can do that. Gives it a lot of more flavor to it. And there you have it. There you got it. There you have it. That's the butter sauce that I use for my videos. Just put a lemon right there, just so you guys can see, just for it to look pretty. And there you have it. That's my butter sauce that I use for my videos. And it's the Love Life Sauce. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like it.